Hey, hello, good morning, guys. And this is Connie with Gautam. And guys, today we are gonna do the level. Sorry, that was just a joke. We're not gonna do any levels. We are gonna talk about the core combat AI league and the Infinite Inferno Cup. So the core combat AI league is a league of events which started with the Infinite Inferno Cup, which is over. Sorcerer's Blitz, which is happening currently, and Colossus Clashes is gonna happen later this this year. So, how does Infinite Inferno work? Infinite Inferno works because we have two enemies, okay? The red and blue. This is the midpoint, so the left side is red, the right side is blues. They both have their, like, bases. The blue one has this crystal, the red one has this crystal. If the blue one kills the red crystal before the red kills the blue crystal, blue wins. So, first team to kill the opponent's crystal wins. There are three lanes. Lane 0, lane 1, lane 2. You can summon heroes and normal units. So, heroes count as knights, knights, wizards, some samurais, and some other, other heroes. And you can spawn them at the single sword bases. And... If you want normal units like munchkins, throwers, ogres, and shamans, and headhunters, you can just go to the double swords. And if you kill a tower, you get money to spawn more units. And that is how Infinite Inferno works. This is the banner, and this is the logo of the Infinite Inferno Cup. So congratulations to everyone who participated. And now, this is a video talking about the championship and the people who won, so congrats to them. Um, okay, not this. Move. Ugh, it's something just came in the middle, I will just wait for it to go. Okay, now it's gone. The tournament is over. Thanks for playing. So, me, in the open rank, I am 51th place. Go to 1-2-3, I had 740 wins, 41 losses, and 94.5% of wins. And I am on team, their best. And I participated in my age category, 11-14. to 14. And, yeah, so in my age group... I'm just waiting for it to get processed. Okay. In my age group, I came in ninth place. Same with 94.57. And joint team, their best. It's a very good team. And, yeah. There are other players. Congrats to them. And, this is the Infinite Inferno Cup. So, if we just go over here, we see like... The leaderboard matches are still getting simulated. I have simulated 42,849 games, which is good. So I'm just telling you one thing which can help you in other levels. If you simulate, if you, sorry, if you simulate games, you will get gems for that. The more simulations, the more gems. So just a tip. And, yeah. So, just one thing. Let's just go back to this page. There are some global stats. There are some global stats which which like takes everyone in the world and compares you with them. So in Mages Might, I'm currently 299. I'm still processing my code. My code is still in progress. So, since your code has some errors and some bugs and it's not complete, it will take you to low rank. But, just don't worry about the current rank. Don't worry. Finish your code, then submit it, and then it will go more higher. So, I'm currently at 299. And, 8,951. With the, with a score of 281 code points. And, that is out of 876. 1,187 players. So, yes. This is it. The Infinite Inferno Cup. And what I accomplished. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this video. And guys, this is Connie with Koto. 
and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.